a lot has changed since the last time I posted on YouTube, but I have been posting on Instagram. So if you follow me there, then you'll see like most of the updates. But today we're going to be solving one of the most common issues that most FRS BRZ86 owners have, which is these side markers that have terrible clips. Okay. Now, technically we're not solving the issue. We're kind of just coming up with our own solution. So I had a side marker. I probably bought these side markers like at least five times by now and they just keep coming out. And th this time I actually had it like plugged in to the harness and the harness actually got ripped out with it. So now I don't have the harness on both sides and I just have a side marker here. So if you look at the other side, here I have a side marker and it's kind of just like popping out because it's it has like double sided tape on it and then there's clips at the bottom but the clips are trash as most people would know. So the way that I'm planning to fix it now, this is not a confirmed fix because obviously this is my, I'm just filming the process, right? But what my plan is, is I'm gonna design a 3D model of a sort of shape like this, print it out and then mount it to the bumper. So I'll show you guys the process. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. I just took one of the side markers I had laying around because I had so many because I kept buying them because they kept falling off. So I took one of the ones I had, I traced it on a piece of paper and then I scanned this piece of paper. I mean, you can measure it and like write down measurements and like design it yourself, but I literally just traced it, scanned it uh, as a JPEG and then I uploaded the image onto my laptop and then I traced it. And it's currently 3D printing right now. So it says here, there's two hours and five minutes left so once that's done i probably shouldn't touch it but once that's done i'm gonna put it on the car and see how it works so i have two models here i designed they they're a bit different so mostly they're the same size except as you can see like this one is more has straighter edges this one's kind of more rounded and if you look at the t the edge of this one it's like more pointed compared to this one, how it's like rounded. So I'll put them side by side so you guys can see the difference. But they're roughly the same shape. And also, if you look here, this one's more pointed than this one. Is, this one's kind of round. So I'm gonna put them here so you guys can see. You can see the difference, like one of them's more pointy. So I didn't know, so I'm gonna go and put this, I'm gonna put these where the side markers go and see how they fit. So I brought it to the side with the side marker. Oh damn, it's hot. I just came back from the store, so it's kind of hot. Okay, so the round one, let's see. So, sorry. It mostly fits, actually this one fits pretty nice. As you can see, it's like there's obviously a gap there. Okay, ignore this, I don't know what happened there. Um, actually, I do know what happened, but. If I were to just take this here, put some double sided tape and like stick it, see the only place I could stick it would be there and like maybe up here, which obviously it won't be that secure. So that's the problem. But like you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap here. Uh, nothing good. And then over here you can see uh, there's a bit of a gap here too. So let's, oh. Oh, shoot. let's try the other one. So this one I have a feeling would, yeah, this one, okay, see, this one fits in the corner a lot better, but again, there's a gap here, which is not a big deal. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go with the point, the pointy one. Now we just had to figure out how to mount it. Okay guys, I did something very interesting, so I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not a professional, and I'm not a mechanic either, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I <laughs> drilled two holes here, and then I drilled a hole in the bottom, to like basically create a tunnel down the middle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a zip tie and I bent it like this so that it can kind of like feed through like that. So I'll show you. So I put it through here and then there, because I bent it, it's like coming out the other side, right? So now I have this. 
Okay, so I pulled the bumper out a little bit. Also, I decided to use a longer zip tie because it was kind of hard to feed it through with such a tiny zip tie. So I'm gonna use this and then just trim off the excess. Okay, so you can kind of see what I did here. The zip tie is going through here. It's going through the bottom hole and then coming out the top and then I'm gonna tighten it and then it should sit flush like this. Uh, let me just tighten it. Okay, so I just trimmed off the excess. Now, I don't need double-sided tape. I could use it, like obviously if you look here, it's kind of like flimsy. But once I push this back in, it's yeah, it does move a little bit, but I mean, you know, I'm gonna put some double sided tape there, but I can guarantee you 90% it's not going anywhere now because like, you know, unless the bumper comes off, but that's actually pretty good. Okay, so I have some double sided tape here. I'm just gonna push this back a little bit. I see, I can just pull this whole thing out. Okay. So I'm gonna put the tape right over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right over there. That's kind of hard to see, but one second. Here, this should be better. I'm gonna put the tape over here. Okay, now first I'm gonna push the bumper back. Then I'll take this and I'll push it. And then what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see. Can I turn this on? Okay, wait, let's see if you guys can see now. So, I'm going to take this tape back and attach it to the side marker, like that. So it sticks. And then I'll just push this back. And I'll, I'm going to do the same thing again, but with the bumper pushed. There. I have an actual side marker here. But it's, you know doesn't work because the harness is gone. So anyways, this is the side marker delete. So you can see here, ignore all that, but from far away, it looks pretty seamless, right? You can't tell that there's, you know, no side marker because the other side is also a, a smoked side marker. So you can't, it doesn't really make a difference, but like the hole is covered for sure. And even from the back, you can see like, before there would be a big gap here because there was no sound record, but now it's like flush with it. So this clip's coming out. Okay guys, make sure to follow my Instagram because I am gonna be posting updates about the side marker. Like for example, if it falls off sometime, you know, I'm obviously gonna have to make an updated one. I seriously doubt it's falling off though, but thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna see me do so I can upload some videos about it. I haven't been uploading a lot because it was winter, but now that it's summer, I'm gonna be uploading a lot more, so get ready. Before I end the video, I just wanna let you guys know I am gonna be uploading these uh, two files in the link in my bio on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram in the description, but it's wannabe Toyota if you wanna just search it up. So there's two files, one of them's uh, the 3D model file that you can edit if you wanna add some supports to the model, and then the second file is just the straight up 3d model that you can just directly print so these will be in my bio because i wasn't able to actually find any models online so i'm just going to be uploading these anyways thank you for watching